mandate is to train primary school teachers who range from the ECD to the general course, which is up to grade 7. And we are aware that our teachers are now living in the digital world, which is the 21st century. And we have said our students should be able to communicate with the generation that we have today. Digital skills are very important for us in Zimbabwe because we are in need of our young people being educated in technology. We need them to be in the technology space so that they can compete with other students out there. We approached um, two of our teacher training colleges who were already our ATCs and then we asked them to take up the module so that we could see how relevant the module was to teachers. It has been positive indeed, because nowadays you find that most students are now able to use their ICT skills in planning, scheming. They are actually also into, uh, able to integrate different ICT gadgets in different lessons. The most important thing which motivated me was the era which I'm living in. Everyone in this era knows computers and you need to use them on a daily basis. And also the profession which I'm taking, you find out that a grade one pupil is able to operate a, a, a computer and as the teacher, I should be able to do the same as my pupils. The most important thing that I've learned from this project is how I can incorporate uh, what we learned, what is discussed in this project when I am out there teaching. Because if we can see technology is moving forward, almost every sector is now using technology. So we need our pupils to start from an early age to know what they're expected to do, how, can they, how they can go about uh, using technology in education. We're only concentrating on the generic softwares like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. But with the module, we realize that we can go far like getting different resources to integrate in the teaching and learning. We could actually use learning platforms to create our own learning platforms and use them in the teaching and learning. There are parts of the module that I found to be challenging. Looking at Zimbabwe, uh, we really don't have much resources. We are only a developing country, not yet developed. And this module, it was created in a developed country for probably developed countries. So then to match what is in the module and what we have in Zimbabwe, it becomes a problem. Some of the things that we saw in the module, the gadgets, uh, it was not, it didn't match our standards as a country. We being a developing country, some of the resources were actually foreign to us, but that did not stop us from learning. We actually moved on and actually researched more on the different resources. As Zimbabwe, we're always willing to take up new challenges. We grab at anything that comes because we want to celebrate anything and anything that's good. So the ICT in Education module pilot brought that for us and we were quite excited. I will assist other uh, teachers my, who will be my uh, workmates and also to enhance the teaching uh, strategies like when uh, we want to show maybe the animals uh, to pupils when they are teaching social studies, we just uh, uh, make pictures and create a presentation and show them this is a lion, this is an elephant. Uh, that is the, those are some of the skills that we acquired uh, since we did that uh, module. I am going to use ICT gadgets as media during the teaching and learning processes. The government in Zimbabwe is currently promoting STEM, so I wanted to be technologically advanced to impart knowledge to the peoples. There are also moral virtues that we encourage through the digital kind of skills, because we are aware that our children, as they grow, they are exposed to uh, digital dangers, I should say, where we think our student teachers must teach morality, what we call digital citizenship. They must teach morality as they teach in the schools. What we are working on now is rolling this module out to the other teacher training colleges 
as well as other ATCs. We've already rolled it out at one of the universities with a certain number of teachers and they found it to be relevant. So our next steps is to take it to the country. Thank you.